I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat. Get hug every cat. So anyway, I am a cat lover and I love to run. I'm sorry, I'm being a is my first thoughts of episode 10, The World Inverted. Well, technically my first thoughts, this aren't my immediate thoughts, I didn't switch the computer on as soon as the episode was over. I had to get dressed because it's like 20 to 7 in the morning and I'm not recording in my pyjamas, as comfortable as that would be. It's, I'm not ready for you guys to see me in my pyjamas, but maybe someday, just today is not that day. Episode 10, right. Think of your favourite alternate universe fan fiction. This episode is basically that. Well, parts of it is. Al Everyone loves a good alternate universe fan, fic fan fiction because you get to see your characters in different situations, portrayed a bit differently, but there's still elements in that are the same. My favourite alternate universe fan fictions actually aren't in the TMI fan fandom because one of my OTPs in a different universe is not canon. So basically everything that I read is alternate universe anyway, for that pairing. And if anyone's curious, it's Potato, Peter and Kato. I know, best ship name ever, Potato. You don't even have to ship it, we have to admit that name is pretty epic. Back on point. This episode is basically like an alternate universe fan fiction, which is actually very interesting because we get to see the characters differently. I mean... Alternate Universe Izzy is my spirit animal. I swear to God, I'm in love with her. Although I'm in love with other reality Izzy as well. She's the queen. But Alternate Universe Izzy had me cracking up. I mean, she was just amazing. She is like me if I was slightly more extroverted. But kind of introverted at the, same at the same time. And then there was Alec, who we didn't get to see much of in the alternate universe, but what we did see was pretty funny. He was a lot more confident with who he is. I mean, we got to see the parallel between him and Magnus when he sees him trying to get into the party, and he's just like, oh, I like this one. I'm going to let him in anyway, even though I barked at Clary about how important this party is. Yeah, I'm going to let this guy in. And then, of course, Magnus kind of blows him off the way Alec blew him off in the old reality. And I know we wanted to have, like, Malik, like, together in the alternate universe, but I kind of didn't because I felt like it would make it a little less lackluster when we saw it for real in the universe that the series is based in because we already seen it in the alternate reality. And even though it's different portrayals of the character, We'll have already seen it, so when it happens, for real, it would just be like... <sighs> so, yeah, I thought Malik was okay. What we got in the whole universe was good. It wasn't amazing, but I thought it was it was, it was good. <laughs> Come on, guys, you, have to, you can't deny that Alec being confident in Flurry is something we've all wanted to see. You know what's happened at some point, even in the original books, even if it was just in Magnus's apartment or something, it's happened. We just didn't get to see it. Well, until now, which is just the best. This this whole alternate reality idea was just fantastic because we got to see the characters differently. And the way that we go, if we said, what if, like, what if Isabel was more nerdy? What if she was with Simon? What if Jace was a bit more shy and stuttery and... Less confident in himself. What if Magnus wore grey? What if he wore grey? I have to say I'm not a fan. Wear your fantastic outfits, Magnus. Wear your glitter and your makeup and your awesome jackets and your little things here, please. Not that you didn't rock the grey jumper, but come on. You know you like the glitter. I'm sure even alternate reality Magnus has thought about the glitter at some point. He's probably considered it at least. And hopefully, I like to imagine when Magnus destroyed the portal at the end of the episode after Clary and Jace went through and and got rid of the demon that he went up through the party and got stopped by Alec again and 
Chappelle, Malik, alternate reality Malik that we sadly do not get to see, but get to write AU fan fiction on. AU of an AU. Has that sort of thing happened before? Actually, I, I can't say that I don't know if it hasn't happened before because I'm not in Supernatural, but something's probably happened there. I don't watch Supernatural, but they have gifts for everything. So I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere along the line there was AU than an AU. And Clary and Jace's dynamics were very interesting in alternate reality. Their relationship was rocky. And you could tell that Jace was trying to hang on more than Clary was, like bringing her up against the coffee van and kind of being a bit too PDA for public. I mean, Jace, it's broad daylight. Don't be flipping kissing her neck and shit. There's people watching. It's not even like they went behind the van. Like, they were here. The table with Isabel, Simon, and Alec were here. Canoodling here. Talking here. I'm sure one of them would look and go, oh, they're doing it again. <laughs> but it was nice to see Jace a bit more subdued. But I wouldn't say that I would be a fan of him being like that all the time. He's a douchebag, but it's part of his character, I wouldn't say charm, because you can't say being a douchebag is charm, but it's part of his character and I think it works better. I'm not going to talk about um, Alec and Jace's power body bonding or the ending until I do my deeper analysis, because if I try and do it now in my th first thoughts, then it would just go on like really long, and I want the first thoughts to be kind of condensed and short so that the deeper analysis can be longer and I can talk more in depth about what it meant, why they did it, what I think is going on at the end because that ending was like, what? Although I saw the promotional pictures because Tumblr seems to just post up the promotional pictures as soon as they come up and they're like, oh look, there's Jace's dad. Okay. Yeah, I quite like this episode. Actually, I didn't quite like it. I loved it. It actually made me laugh out loud a lot, which for six in the morning is something that I try not to do. But then again, I'm very bad at it because anytime anything malic happens at six in the morning, I'm grinning like really, really badly and trying like not to giggle. And it's just sort of, it probably looked like a cloud. It's even harder when I have to watch the episodes with my mum because something malic happens and she doesn't, she gets it. She likes malic. She hopes they get together and stuff, but She's never understood fully how I can be <laughs> about it. Basically fangirling about it. I've got a sticker of them kissing on the back of my phone. And my dad always looks, looked at it once and was just like, are those two boys kissing on the back of your phone? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, who are they? And I was like, oh, who are they? But yeah, those are my first thoughts of the episode. I thought it was a very good episode. I liked it. I thought it was very funny and very interesting to see the alternate dimension. I thought the dynamics between Alec and Isabel outside of the alternate universe were very, very good. I quite like that. And it's very good to see that Isabel, that not Isabel, <laughs> it's very good to see Lydia is going, is proving herself to be better than we thought she would be. I didn't hate her, but I was a bit worried that she was going to be taken into a bad direction. But it's nice to see that she's helping Alec help Isabel. And I think that's very important because everyone thought she was going to be a bad guy. And I wasn't sure. I was just kind of like, but it's nice to see that they're taking her in a good direction and she's actually trying to help. But then there's also the possibility that she's trying to get into Alex's good side. But I don't think that's what she's doing. I think she's doing it because she's genuinely, she's genuinely interested in making Alec happy. Can't wait to talk about the ending and the power body bond. I'll probably do that on tomorrow, maybe. And then I'll have the video edited and up by Friday. So, see you then. Bye. I really love podcasts.